to be calling Michael Cohen in January to testify in public under oath, tell the whole story of every conversation he's had with Donald Trump. What can Congress do that Mueller hasn't been able to do, though, in terms of getting air, the air it for the world, for the world. so yeah, we can it. all know I, and make our own determinations I, I would put my money on, on, up to. Um, on Robert Mueller or over Congress to get the job done. Well, but Mueller's brief is very narrow. It's to make criminal cases. It's yeah. up to Congress to inform the public about what's okay. really shouldn't happen. prejudge. Let's hope that Congress... Uh, uh, the, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, the chairman of the Intelligence Committee, the chairman of the Reform Committee, do their job. Michael Isikoff has made it pointedly <laughs> clear. Jonathan Swan, thank you, but you're the best, buddy. Mike, <laughs> no, he is. You're good, too. <laughs> I'll, this guy's the I thought you were saying about me the best. No, no, because he's been around for years, scared yeah, the hell yeah, of me. He's, he's so damn right, good. Right. He's so damn good. Not as good. long as you. Chris. No, so yeah, you're so damn good. Up you next. guys should get a room. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, is that a in the comedy here? Time to Up next, uh, Senator Amy Klobuchar come here and talk seriously, compared to this, to talk about what she calls the grace and dignity with which their late president, George Herbert Walker Bush, treated his friends, and more importantly, his rivals. I want to hear a little of this from a good Democrat, Amy Klobuchar from Minnesota. This is Hardball, the action is.